It was only 9 degrees on this cold Saturday morning, but it certainly felt a whole lot colder for the more than 30 parents, students, and community leaders that made the trek from Erickson School to Lincoln Irving School, the same route that Erickson School students will have to take next year when the school district closes Erickson School as they have planned. The walk took over 30 minutes, and on a typical school day, the children would have to deal with more traffic, heavy bags, and extreme weather conditions. Organizers and community leaders invite the parents to get more involved and to voice their opinions. Last May, the Moline School Board voted 5-2 to two to close Erickson and Garfield schools and approved a $17.3 million investment in renovation to Hamilton School, a move that is expected to save the district $350,000 per year. In weather like this or when it's below zero, and we walk by areas where there's um, ravines, and, you know, kids walk, they don't walk in a straight line. They're going to end up pushing each other. There was areas where there was no sidewalk accessible. They were walking in the middle of the street. And, I mean, we were able to control them and keep them off to the side for the most part. But when there's not an adult present, kids are going to be in the way of traffic. And there's no traffic right now. Morning traffic during the week, afternoon traffic during the week is very bad in that area. Perfect. Uh, do you have a message to tell the parents? To get involved, to educate yourself, inform yourselves of what possibilities are out there. If that school closes, how is it going to affect your child? How is it going to affect your neighborhood, the community as a whole? How is it going to affect you? Ask questions.